Hello junior scientists and welcome to another deep delve by the infographic show into the greatest scientific questions facing mankind today. This time we're taking a look at the art of flatulence, taking a deep dive into bottom burps, exploring the science of shooting fairies, inquisitioning the secrets of chocolate air fresheners, delving the mysteries of airbending. Yes, today we're asking the heavy-hitting scientific question that has long plagued mankind's greatest thinkers. What if a fart lasted forever? First, what exactly is a fart and why do we do it? Well, the human body produces intestinal gases as the natural process of digestion. The food you eat is broken down by stomach acids and different bacteria that live in your gut. And as it breaks down, the bacteria naturally release a variety of different gases. Some of that gas, though, is naturally ingested atmosphere that comes from swallowing, drinking through a straw, chewing gum, or smoking. Gases from the outside found on the inside are primarily oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, and these are called exogenous air exo for originating outside the body. Gases produced by the breakdown of food via stomach acids and bacteria, though, is called endogenous gas, endo for originating inside the body. These are primarily made up of hydrogen, though some diets can also produce methane. Small amounts of hydrogen sulfide can also be present, and it's this magic gas that makes farts smell really bad. This only makes up 1% of the gas you expel, though, with most of your fart being almost completely odor-free. This is a good thing because hydrogen sulfide at concentrations of just 700 to 1,000 parts per million can lead to immediate unconsciousness and a halt to breathing, leading to death. Any concentration above that can cause instant death. That's right, your farts really are silent and deadly at high enough concentrations. Undigested carbohydrates are the most common cause of gas due to the fact that the stomach and small intestine can't break these foods down. Instead, these food items are moved into the large intestine, and it's here that specialized bacteria feed on them and break them down, which releases a lot of intestinal gases in the process. Foods that commonly lead to high gas production include sugars, dried beans, nuts, fruits, wheat bran, corn, wheat, and potatoes. According to the International Foundation for Functional Gastrointestinal Disorders, though, foods that may make one person especially farty might have little to no effect on someone else. And you should listen to the IFFGD because it's their job to study farts internationally. I mean, they do other things too, I'm sure. Some foods, though, are practically guaranteed to make you bloated and farty. So if you've got a long road trip coming up with someone you don't particularly like, then make sure you load up on these food items. Anything rich in raffinose, which is a complex sugar, is guaranteed to make you fart. That's because humans lack the enzyme needed to digest this sugar, and when the bacteria in our gut try and process it, they release a lot of gas. You can find generous helpings of raffinose in beans, whole grains, asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage. High sulfur food and drinks are also guaranteed to fuel your rump trumpet, and although they are an essential part of any diet, they can also produce bigger and far smellier farts. This includes foods like garlic, onions, cauliflower, and broccoli. Wine and beer are also high in sulfur and will add extra lethality to your down-under bombers. Foods that are made with sugar alcohols meant to provide sweetness without the calories of normal sugar, and you can find them in anything that's sugar-free and processed. The body can't digest these foods completely, leading to increased gas. Now that we've taught you how to weaponize your steam dumplings, there's a few key facts that you have to know before we explore the hell that would be an eternal fart. First, it's important to note that there's no scientific evidence of a difference between the amount that men and women fart. Men's farts are simply more noticeable than women's because women's farts are actually whispers from tiny magic unicorns that live in their underpants. This is science fact, and we dare you to fact check us. Both men and women, though, fart between 12 and 25 times a day, though obvious food choices can severely skew this number. Vegetarians may in fact be more prone to farting more frequently than meat eaters due to the abundance of fiber in their diet. But meat eater farts almost always smell worse because meat is high in sulfur which produces smelly farts, while vegetarian farts smell only of self-righteousness. Pregnant women, however, are the most prodigious of farters, given the fact that during pregnancy a woman's hormones can actually slow down the rate of absorption from her digestive process by as much as 30%. This builds up a great deal of gas, which has to come out one way or the other, top or bottom. As the uterus becomes
becomes larger during pregnancy, it pushes against the stomach, intestines, and the bladder, slowing down digestion even more and causing even more gas to build up. An increase in progesterone, meant to help muscles relax in preparation for childbirth, makes it even harder for a pregnant woman to hold her farts in, releasing in hilariously unexpected and often very loud barking spiders. Lastly, we'd like to point out that in 2015, sociologists conducted an exhaustive survey of college-aged men and women, discovering that women are more likely to worry that people hearing them fart will find it disgusting, while men are more likely to think that farting was funny. This same team of sociologists also tackled other pressing scientific quandaries such as, is fire hot? And can we breathe water? So what if you were to fart an immortal fart? What would the consequences be? Well, first, you have to know that farts are pretty serious business. Scientists estimate that cattle make up approximately 36% of all the methane pollution in the world. And methane is a terrifyingly good global warming gas. That means that it's really good at trapping the sun's heat and not letting it dissipate back into space. It's not just a really good greenhouse gas, though. It's one of the best. More than 30 times more efficient a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. And as the world warms up more thanks to methane, even greater amounts of methane will be produced from microorganisms living in warm lake sediment and freshwater wetlands. That's right, cow farts are helping to cook our planet alive at a rate of 19,656,415,296 pounds of the gas a year. With methane making up a small portion of each fart, your ceaseless flatulence will inevitably pose a threat to all life on Earth. The average fart is about 196 milliliters and exits the body in one second, so we can assume a fart per hour rate of 705,600 milliliters or 186 gallons of fart per hour. In one day, that will equal 4,464 gallons or 16,898 liters of fart streaming non-stop out of your rear admiral. With an Olympic-sized swimming pool holding 660,253 gallons, you'll fill it up with fart juice in 21 weeks. Lake Superior is the largest of the American Great Lakes and holds 2,900 cubic miles of water, enough to cover both North and South America in 30 centimeters of water. At a fart per day rate of 4,464 gallons or 16,898 liters, you would fill Lake Superior with farts in 1,959,812,274 years. The Pacific Ocean, which holds 170 million cubic miles of water, would be filled with farts in 1,885,547,124,000 550 years. Of course, by then, the sun will have swallowed the Earth and destroyed it. But rest assured, because you will have ended all life on Earth with your flatulence far before that.